everyone. So today we are doing some more tree tapping for 2016. And I have decided that uh, we've got this 35 acres of woods. We wanted to start um, getting some sap from here. It's been far from the house. And because I was waiting on a tractor and a trailer and a tank, um, we are having a good sap run for about the next 10 days. So we have decided to uh, go ahead and do this. Easy collection is five gallon buckets and um, the plastic tubing. Now, a lot of people go with plastic spiles or taps, but then you are discarding that tap every year or every couple of years. Um, they have adapters that go into the tree, and then there are um, stainless steel spiles. And this is a, a tree saver stainless steel spile. They were $1.90 a piece, and I will be able to use this over and over. It is barbed on the end for the tubing, I've got little helpers, so sometimes things, some things get a little dirty. You want to keep dirt off of your spiles and tabs. Make sure they're clean and sanitized. Your buckets also, so that you don't get bacteria growing in your tree or in your tap. Um, the 5 16th size is considered healthy for the tree, and uh, it's a smaller hole. So the old versions were 7 16th. They would um, take longer. Don't. They would take longer to heal up. So. Using a 5 16th drill bit, we're going to first drill our tap hole. This is a smaller tree, so we're only going to do one tap. One tap hole. I really like my Ryobi drill with the lithium battery. It lasts a long time up here in the woods. It's good to have a second battery if you're far from the house or need a charge time. I had the old Ryobi and it takes forever to charge. Okay, tap her in. Straight in. Number. Tap it, tap it. Keep going. Good, good. Now when it sounds slightly different when you're tapping it, you really do want to just tap it. Um, then you stop tapping it in there because you don't want to split the hole around it. You also don't want to tap your trees when it's freezing. So early in the morning is not good, but you need the freezing nights for the sap to be running. So I'm going to put my tubing right on this and you just push it on. Two drills is really good for this. I like to have my holes in my lids already done before I get up here because you can stack several lids at once and do your drilling. Also south side um, of the tree is the best location for your for your taps. The north side doesn't get as much sun. Every bucket I've ever placed out of um, necessity on the north never runs real well. So now I've got a 13 30 second drill bit and we're going to drill a hole right into the bucket. You want to make sure that you are using clean buckets. Can you hold this? There you go. Now, this tool is from the plumber section at my local uh, home improvement store. I got this at Menards for $11. Uh, the tubing cutter at the maple sugaring place was $24. They have this in a non-ratcheting version and they have it in this version. This version was a little heavier duty so I went with that. You stop. And this just is going to push right into the hole. I have my lid snapped on about two-thirds of the way around so that when I'm ready to empty this bucket I can just tip it sideways with the bucket slightly opened. Um, you can also just pull your tube and switch it with a new bucket, um, bringing an empty bucket to each tree as you go. Please don't, please don't, that cannot get dirty. So everyone, this is called a drop line setup into a five gallon bucket. Please remember to use food grade buckets. You can get these um, 
from bakeries and things like that, usually for free or for a dollar. Sometimes people sell them used on Craigslist for $2 with the lid. I got all of my buckets in lids through um, either Walmart or Menards. Um, check for price matching. The Walmart buckets are food grade also, and the only difference is um, they put a sticker saying that it's food grade, where the other stores, same company, uh, it's imprinted right into the plastic, um, like the warning advisory for keeping your buckets safe from children. So the lids will keep the rain and the debris out. The five gallons is going to allow for more storage, and I won't have to come back here every day yeah. to check on them. You can do one or two taps per tree, depending on how often you want to come back into the woods. And uh, involve your family. These kids are all out here doing it with us. They're all having a little snack break right now while we do the video, but... Enjoy your last run of your maple syruping, everybody. If you have any questions, I will do my best to answer for you. This is our second year doing maple syrup. I've been doing it on my own. There are more videos that we've posted of us boiling the sap down to syrup on a flat pan and um, with our homemade evaporator. So thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye.